What's going on YouTube, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to you, another video. And in my hand, I have the brand new Huawei Mate 20X 5G. 5G is here. And this is one of the smartphones out right now that you can use 5G with. And besides that, it's powerful. It's got big memory, it's got a big screen. But without further ado, let's check it out and see what you get in the box and give you a quick overview of what this is all about. Before we carry on, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button as well. So you're one of the first people to know every time there's a new video on this channel. Let's get on with it. Right, let's get inside the box and see what we get. So we get that triple like a camera branding there. You got the Mate 20X 5G branding on the front as well. And see what we get inside of the box. Inside is the device itself, as you can see there. Let's just take that out. We've got the SIM ejector tool there, so you can easily take your SIM card out and also the memory card that you can get as well. So that's the nano memory card that you can get from Huawei. Uh, underneath here, we have your quick start guide, so do give that a read in case you need to find out more about the device first. You also get protective silicon case in the packaging as well, so you can keep your device nice and safe and secure. You also get a 40 watt supercharger brick in there as well, so you quickly charge your device back up to 100 in no time at all, which is very handy uh, for this device. Uh, you got USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. As you can see there, it's got that purple tint inside again, which I always like about Huawei. Put that to the side, and there's also a USB-C headphones, a pair of headphones, in-ear headphones in here as well, so you don't have to buy an adapter or worry about an adapter going missing after using it for a few times. Uh, so there you go, that's what's in the box. Let's switch the phone on and see what the device can actually do. First thing first, let's peel off this plastic here. So this has actually got a screen protector already pre-installed, so you don't have to worry about scratching up your device. You take the back one off as well to reveal the device itself. Looks really nice. So here it is powered on, so let's talk about what you get here. So this is a 7.2 inch display with a resolution of 1080 by 2244. And this will give you 345 PPI, so it's sharp for gaming, reading books and so on. So you'll be able to enjoy and be immersed in your entertainment experience or just using the phone in general because this is a large display and is aimed and being immersed in this kind of uh, unit, this smartphone here. You've got front facing camera as well, so this is a dew drop display uh, kind of design. On the sides, you've got a power button there with this red hint on it, which is pretty cool. And you've got your volume rocker on the side there. On the back, you've got this camera setup here. So this is a triple Leica camera setup, as you can see. And you've got flash on the corner. So this is very similar to what you see on the Mate 20 Pro. And your fingerprint sensor is on the back here with 5G logo on the back. So again, when you're using this out and about, people will know that you're carrying a 5G device for sure. Uh, on the bottom here, we have a USB-C port, as you can see, uh, just there. And we've got speaker grill next to it and a microphone as well. Uh, on this side, we've got SIM card tray. So this is where your nano SIM would go and a nano me memory card as well, which you can get from Huawei. That goes in there as well. So you can expand your memory again, more than what comes built into the device. Up top, we have a IR blaster just there and a microphone as well. Again, very useful for those who like to control things themselves without having to worry about using a hotel memory, uh, hotel remote control, for example. You'll be able to use your smartphone to do just that. In terms of storage, you get 256 gig built in. Again, you can expand that using a nano micro SD card. You've also got eight gig of RAM in there and you've got the latest Kirin 980 chipset in there. And what also makes this stand out again is that 5G modem that's in there. So you got that Balong uh, modem in there, which allows you to use 5G. Uh, just looking around the device is very slick, it's very smooth, uh, you know, going across and running games and stuff. So I've been playing PUBG Mobile, for example, on this, uh, which runs really smoothly on this. Uh, sound is good as well and with 5G on there you'll be able to play when you're out and about you can connect to the internet very quickly without having to worry about connection issues, latency, lags and stuff like that so that's a really good thing for those who likes the game out there. In terms of security you've got that fingerprint sensor at the back which is very quick and it also supports the front facing face unlock uh, system as well so if I press down look at it, recognises my face, I can slide to open the device and I'm good to go very quickly. Again, let me just show you that one more time. So if I press this, recognizes my face, slide to open, and we're good to go. Or if I want to, I can use the fingerprint sensor on the back and that just unlocks straight away. It's so quick, look at this. There we go, <laughs> lock that again. And that gets straight into the device as well so you don't have to do extra slide up uh, if you don't want to. In terms of color, so this is the emerald green version. Uh, I believe that's the only color you can get it in right now. I don't know if they'll release more colors in the future. But as you can see there, it kind of shimmers against the light, looks really nice. Sometimes it's dark green, it fades between light green, dark green, 
in different areas. You can see hints of blue as well, which looks really nice. And that curved sort of back as well. Again, really nice for holding it. Makes it really nice and comfortable to hold in hand. This one also supports the latest Huawei M Pen as well. So again, the latest one has 4096 high level pressure sensitivity, providing that feeling of like you're writing naturally, you can press it to get darker, raise it up to get lighter when drawing and sketching and so on. You can use that to write notes in the memo app. Again, that doesn't come in a box though, but you, have, you can buy that separately and it can become a useful tool for those who like to write notes on the go. For software, this is running EMUI 9.1 based on Android 9 as well. So again, that's the latest software and you can easily see how smooth that is as well. It's just nice and easy to use. It's compatible with Google Play Store so you can download wherever app you want, play, want to download on the go. With a 5G modem, it also means you'll be able to download things very quickly. In terms of the camera setup here, we have a triple Leica camera setup with Master AI, so you can activate it and, it's, and deactivate it on the top there. But with it activated, it means it would recognize the scene and optimize it accordingly and very intelligently. So for the standard lens, you have a 40 megapixel wide angle lens with f1.8 aperture. Then you have a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, which also, also supports macro photography. And this is a f2.2 aperture. And then you got a telephoto lens, which is 20 megapixel at f2.4 aperture as well. So again, you'll be able to get sharp images. And on the front, you have a 24 megapixel front facing camera. If we go in the resolution area, you can see where you can change it, 40 megapixel, 10, 10 megapixel recommended in some cases. When recording video, you can record up to 4K at 30 frames per second there. But if you wanna record at 60 frames per second, you can step it down to 1080p. The Huawei Mate 20X 5G will also be getting the Android Q update as well as every other update as normal. For pricing and availability, the Huawei Mate 20X 5G will set you back £999 here in the UK. And this is available from EE, Vodafone, 3, Carphone Warehouse and Sky Mobile as well. If you also like to delve in deeper into the specifications and everything else, there's a link in the description area which can take you to that page and you can find out a lot more. So that's it for the Huawei Mate 20X 5G. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below as per usual. And again, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.